Hi everybody! Welcome to part 9 of the Blue Rift tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'll be going over a pretty simple part of the editor, that being music trees. Now what are music trees? Well, they're basically these sort of trees of behavior that affects the music that's playing. You won't really need to make your own music tree for a Blue Rift unless you want to make custom music. Most people aren't going to be making custom music. Most people aren't going to be like importing music. They're just going to be, you know, using the default one. But I thought it would be important to go over so that you can recreate the effects of different parts of it. What you can do with music trees is make is control when they fade out, when they get quieter, when they change songs and stuff like that. I'm not going to be going over transitions through songs like, you know, like a purple rift would because that's not really relevant to our, towards a blue rift, but I will go over it in the tutorial series after this one. For this basic tutorial, I'm only going to be going over how to recreate the basic general effects that Hat in Time does. If we go into View, World Properties, and then go down to our music tree down here, we will see it's currently using the Blue Rift music tree. Let's go take a look at that. If we open it up, we can take a look. Right now, the music tree will change to the remix if you have the music enabled change to the scooter version if you have the uh, scooter variant and change to on metro train if you are you know also on a train there's a bunch of these fancy parameters and this is just how you would change songs based on parameters in the level this doesn't really apply to what we're going to talk about and what i'm going to talk about isn't really used very often in Blue Rift, because usually Blue Rift don't have NPCs, but this is pretty important if you want to make a level with NPCs that have voice acting. Very specific, I know, but look, I just needed another entry in the tutorial series because I didn't want to end at 11 videos, because 12 is just a nicer number, you know? And you know, this general knowledge is pretty good. So first off, let's go to our content package, right click, and go down to New Music Tree. Let's call this Fancy Blue Rift Tree. Again, you do not need to call anything what I call it. You can call it whatever. So, let's do something pretty simple. Let's just do, like, the Blue Rift song. So this song is called Clock Towers Beneath the Sea. That's what they've called the file. This is the sound cue. What this does is that when this is played, it plays a sound file. You cannot play sound files by themselves, you need to make sound cues for them. In a sound cue, you can make a bunch of variations based on, you know, various things, but we're not going to worry about that too much right now. Let's just select this and go into our music tree. Actually, you, you're going to want to uh, open your music tree first. Let's put that off to the side for now. Clock towers beneath the sea. Bring this back on. First off, we're going to put down music track. Select this. Push this button. Once you put in the music track, you'll get a few variables here. You can adjust the volume of the track, what track it is, the idle lifetime, and what that means is that when it swaps tracks, uh, it'll still be playing in the background, but, you know, quiet. You can choose how long it continues to play that, or, or just set it to zero so that it, you know, never, never stops playing. Overrides death jingle is pretty self-explanatory. It overrides the death jingle. And the BPM is what we are concerned with. BPM... BPM is a value that basically controls how fast the, uh, That controls how fast the player's, you know, smug dance. How fast that animation plays based on how fast the music is. The BPM is what controls this. But how do we know what the BPM of the song is? You could just look it up but often for video game music, you're not going to have an answer for what that is. If you want a shortcut, I'd say 
for your reference, Clock Towers Beneath the Sea is about 110 BPM, maybe like 100 BPM, that general range. Let's put it at just 100. But how would you even know that? The, well, there's not really an easy way to do this, but, um... It's not really an easy way to do this, but I'll show you the best way to do it. You might- this might not be easy for you, though, depending on how musically, uh, like, aware you are. If you can find the BPM online, just use that. But if you need to calculate the BPM yourself, first off, tie this in, and then we can listen to it. Now over here is a BPM tool that I use to time out my BPM for songs that I put into my mods. It, the URL is allh.com slash tool slash bpm htm. I'll put this in the description so you don't have to type that in. What you do is you click in here and then use your keyboard to time the song. Now I don't really know how to explain this to somebody to like somebody who doesn't know anything about musical stuff. The general idea is imagine you're like tapping your foot to a song's rhythm, you know? That's what you're gonna be doing here while listening to it. So go to your song, start listening to it. And then just start tapping to the beat of the song. Once you see it not changing very much, you've got it down pretty well. One sixteen is what it seems to be. I put it down to one hundred. As long as you're in the general ballpark of the BPM, it'll look fine. Let's do like one ten. Now, if you obviously, if you want to, just be sure you could just search up you could just search up the bpm of the song and it's 116 wow i was straight on damn that's pretty awesome let's put on 116 just so it's exactly accurate now let's get into some more specific stuff first let's break this link If we right click, we'll get a bunch of blends. And these blends will do different things. Each blend has a certain value assigned to it that when you choose it, it will fade into a different song. But for the thing that I'm gonna set up, I'm just gonna make it so that the music gets quieter whenever you talk to something. This is pretty simple. All you gotta do is do volume by talking. Tie this into here, tie this into that, and boom, you got it. Now we can grab this to test it. By default, it's 0 0.35, but you can set that to whatever you want. 0 0.35 is pretty good. Anyways, that's really all we need. Obviously, we could put back in all of the other fancy stuff from the uh, previous thing. But if you're making, if you're using custom music, this is really all you're gonna do. Now that our music tree is set up correctly, we can just select it, go into the world properties, and boom, put it in. And boom, it's just working. Now if we talk to the sign, it'll get quieter. This really is only necessary if there's voice acting. But even without voice acting, I don't know, it kind of brings you into reading this. It sort of makes the music get quieter so that you can focus. Anyways, that's really all there is to it. I didn't go over the more complicated stuff because I'll go over that in the Purple Rift tutorial. That's pretty simple, but let's say that we do want to put a custom song into it. Well, 
I'm going to be going over that and a lot more in the next tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to import custom assets, that whether that be textures, songs, or what have you. This tutorial is a bit shorter. The next one's going to be probably the longest one. I might be wrong though, but yeah, the next tutorial is probably going to be the longest one of the series.